Hello today's video we have the following content. The first broadcast ratings exceeded 2, Luo Jin's acting skills amazed the audience, and CCTV's execution judge became more and more addictive. In the past two years, the most popular themes in the domestic drama market have been suspense and costume dramas, and excellent works have been produced one after another. Only industry dramas have always been tepid. However, in industry dramas, all those that show judicial-related content have received good responses. The bottom line in 2022 and public prosecution in 2023 focus on different groups of judges, based on real cases in real society, and successfully set off a wave of topic discussions. Now another drama of the same type is being broadcast. Execution Judge, starring Luo Jin and Yang Zishan, is online, following the story of Roses, but the opening ratings are more eye-catching than the story of Roses, and it won a good result of breaking two ratings in one fell swoop. A good foundation has been laid at the beginning, and judging from the current plot development, it is more and more addictive. This time, it is the turn of industry dramas to be popular. Real and tangible, the industry characteristics and difficulties are thoroughly explained. For industry dramas, straightforward and straightforward narratives are often more attractive. This execution judge sees this first mover advantage. At the beginning of the story, three hooks were used to successfully draw the audience into the game. First, the family's muddled accounts. When I watched judicial industry dramas before, I always had a question in my mind, what would happen if the judge's family committed a crime? Execution judge gave the answer right from the start. Criminal court judge Ki Lin, played by Luo Jin, is recognized by the court as the judge with the highest case settlement rate, but the first case is that Ki Lin's aunt's property mortgage expired and was to be enforced. Ki Lin is an orphan. His aunt and uncle raised him since he was a child paid for him to go to college, and became judges. For Ki Lin, his aunt is his biological mother. When Ki Lin learned that his aunt was in trouble, his first reaction was to be anxious. He was absolutely rational in the court, but outside the court, he was panicked like an ordinary person after knowing that his family was in trouble. But after calming down, Ki Lin still followed the rules. After understanding the situation clearly, he not only assigned the responsibility to the person and asked his aunt's son to take responsibility, but also dug out the root behind it. As the saying goes, a prince who breaks the law is guilty of the same crime as a commoner. For judges who judge criminal behavior, there is no human sentiment in front of the law, and they will do what they should do. Second, there are multiple parties involved in the case. The case surrounding Ki Lin's aunt's family is not as simple as it seems on the surface. In order to repay his aunt, Ki Lin bought her a commercial house. The ownership of the house belongs to his aunt. His aunt's son thinks that what belongs to his parents is his own, so he made a mortgage loan without his parents' consent. However, the name was forged. Ki Lin's aunt did not sign, but her son forged the signature. Under the normal process, the aunt herself is not present, and the house cannot be mortgaged, but there are companies that specialize in illegal processing of such small loans, so the house was mortgaged and the person in charge behind such companies is precisely the father of the defendant in a case that Ki Lin is judging. In order to protect his son's light sentence, the other party used all kinds of connections to find Ki Lin, and wanted to invite him to dinner privately to make him violate the rules. Ki Lin adhered to his professional ethics and refused this cross-border behavior, but was threatened that if he did not do as they said, he would sue Ki Lin's cousin's family to the end. This case shows everyone the complexity of the execution court cases, and the interests of all parties are involved. It is much more difficult than imagine to handle a case well. Third, the work of the execution judge is difficult. The drama puts the problems of the execution court on the table at the beginning. The execution is difficult, there are few case handlers, and there are many backlogs of cases. These are practical problems faced by execution courts across the country. And from the work of the execution judges, it can be felt that this job is indeed not so easy to do. Just like Ki Lin's aunt, she didn't know that her house was mortgaged at all, and she couldn't accept it and even picked up a broom to beat people. There are also such people who don't pay back the money they borrow, say that they have no money, but can take hundreds of thousands to gamble. In order to avoid the compulsory accountability of the execution judge, they also threaten to jump off the building. It can be said that from these three points, we can see what kind of people the group of executive judges faces and how they carry out their work. It tells the characteristics of the industry and also tells the dilemma of the industry. Luo Jin is steady, Yang Zishan is stunning, and good actors improve the quality. 
I felt very surprised by the casting before watching this execution judge. After watching it, I couldn't help but praise that the director's vision was too accurate. In the opening plot, these four actors left a deep impression on me. The first one is Luo Jin. Luo Jin has played such a glorious and formal character before. In The River and the Mountain are so beautiful, he played a village official, and in Happiness to 10,000 Homes, he played a lawyer full of justice. This time, Luo Jin played a judge who enforced the law impartially and did not show favoritism, and he was also the best in the entire court. Luo Jin's righteousness and firm eyes alone made people feel very involved. The most impressive thing in the early plot was that Ki Lin found out that his former friend deliberately set up a bureau to make him sentence the case lightly. Ki Lin, played by Luo Jin, never looked at the other person straight in the eyes throughout the whole process, and didn't say a word. He just looked at his friend who used to share the same bunk with him and had justice and ideals in his heart, with doubts, confusion, and disgust. Under Luo Jin's interpretation, the audience fully felt Qi Lin's integrity and purity. Second, Yang Zishan. Yang Zishan, who plays the heroine Chu Yun in the play, gives people the first impression of being beautiful, and the second impression of being strong. The human relations in the workplace don't work for her at all, and even in the eyes of many people, she is a cold-blooded image. But Yang Zishan just plays such a cold-faced judge very well. Never go through the back door, never use nepotism, and do what you have to do. Such a judge may not be so likable, but it makes people feel at ease. Third, Serena. It is the old drama Serena who plays Ki Lin's aunt in the play. The character she plays has her house mortgaged without knowing it. From shock to anger, and then to unreasonable trouble, Serena brought such a down-to-earth character to life. Previously, she portrayed gentle and charitable old people on the screen, but this time she seemed a little unreasonable. Facts have proved that old actors can play more than just one role, and their plasticity is still very strong. Fourth place, Fang Zibin. Fang Zibin, who has played both good and bad people, played a smooth and flattering image of a workplace person this time. At the meeting, the performance of the execution court he was in charge of had always been at the bottom, and it was urgent to solve the dilemma. The leader finally gave him the order to transfer someone, but he kept saying irrelevant things. Fang Zibin played the kind of ad on the hot pot, fidgeting, anxious and urgent. When he got the result he wanted, he immediately laughed, wise but foolish but very sophisticated, and his image was as real as if he had really found such a person from the court. There is no doubt that the quality of this execution judge far exceeded expectations, and this time the industry drama is really going to be proud. Next news. CCTV's drama was invaded by plastic surgery face, her acting skills were poor and her personality collapsed, and Luo Jin couldn't lead her. After the end of the story of Rose, CCTV 8 launched a drama full of positive energy execution judge. As soon as the drama was broadcast, the ratings quickly broke through 2.1, and it was inevitable to attract the attention of the audience. The series is co-starred by powerful actors such as Luo Jin, Yang Zishan, Ding Jitli, Zhao Jun, Zhang Zilin, Serena, Wang Tonghu and Fang Zibin. With such a strong cast, people thought from the beginning that this drama would definitely become a hit. Unexpectedly, after the new drama was broadcast, many viewers complained about the drama. Among them, the heroine Chu Yun, played by Yang Zishan, suffered the most criticism. Both the character setting and her acting skills have caused widespread controversy. Chu Yun is the president of the execution court. The court she leads has a high complaint rate due to its style of doing things. Chu Yun is a stubborn person. Whether it is to the parties involved in the case or to the leaders and colleagues, she never talks about feelings and always maintains a momentum. When she appeared in the first episode, she needed to seal up a property that was being executed. Her colleague kindly reminded her that the client was the end of Judge Ki Lin, who had been the top performer in the court for three consecutive years, and asked her if she needed to say hello in advance. Chu Yun said, any questions? Do you all think so? She was full of righteousness, justice, and impartiality, with sharp eyes and murderous intent. When she arrived at the restaurant to be executed, Chu Yun put on a judge's posture again, and explained the law and reason to the client righteously and sternly, like an emotionless legal machine. After returning to the unit, I learned that Ki Lin had looked for the leader and wanted to visit the aunt of the client who was arrested. She began to attack the leader and colleagues again, with fierce words, as if she was the only one who strictly abided by the law and rules, and seemed aggressive. After watching it, many viewers complained about Yang Zishan's acting skills, thinking that her face looked a little stiff after plastic surgery, and at the same time, 
Her performance was too hard, so that people felt like she was playing a villain. Although she is a strict and law-abiding female judge, she started to confront others without warning. This attitude of superiority is cold and ruthless, and her fierce appearance is a bit scary. In addition to her poor acting skills, netizens noticed her swollen face, slightly upturned nose and reflective pointed chin. She seemed extremely stiff when she spoke, and her facial expression showed no emotional changes. The inverted triangle eyes, slightly slanted, always make people feel out of the play. In contrast, Yang Zishan, Luo Jin and Fang Zibin's performances are much more natural. Luo Jin is a just and dedicated judge, but he is also torn by the constraints of family affection. In the performance, he showed a serious side when he was serious, and he was relaxed and comfortable when he was relaxed, and his performance was casual and natural. Fang Zibin's performance in several scenes vividly interpreted his flattery to the leader. The forced smile and slightly bent posture, every move revealed humility and deliberateness. In addition, Serena and Zhao Jun played Qi Lin's aunt and uncle, showing the fireworks and subtle thoughts of the people in the market. The conversations and eye contact at home are full of delicate emotions, and the performances are quite outstanding. Director Zhang Yimao once made it clear that he does not like plastic surgery faces and does not approve of actors undergoing plastic surgery because it will change the facial muscles of the actors and make them lose their original natural beauty. In fact, director Zhang Yimao is not wrong. Before this, the role of Yilinger played by Jin Chen in Celebrating Union 2 was criticized for the heavy traces of medical beauty. There is also Zhang Meng, who originally had a fresh and refined beauty that made people fall in love at first sight. However, she later chose the road of plastic surgery, which not only ruined her face, but also ended her acting career. From the former heroine to now only being able to play some small roles. Everything proves that medical beauty needs to be extra cautious. If Yang Zishan and executing judge performed more naturally, perhaps even if the role was not pleasing, it would not be so complained. Have you watched the latest TV series? What impressed you the most after watching it? Thank you for watching the video. Please leave your opinion in the comments section. Don't forget to press the channel subscription button. If this is the first time you watch a video on the channel, 